menu today, join me for the culmination of my lifelong search for the origins of this Amiga demo music sample. Welcome. Hello, Chip Dippers. In the late 80s and early 90s, sitting in awe of my Commodore Amiga in the comfort of my bedroom, I'd watch names fly by my screen like North Star, Fairlight, Mahoney, Cactus, and Savage. Kind of like teens today watch their favorite TikTok stars on their screens. Now these names were shown in so-called demos and crack tros, little intros placed in front of games whose copyright protection had been cracked. And again, a bit like TikTok, that crack tro was that person's opportunity to demo their skills to the world. I'm a savage. And that's where this story begins, because the word savage had a bit of a different meaning to me when I was 17, to what it might have to people today. I'm a savage. You see, back then I found a demo by the group Savage that had a short music sample in it, playing this perfect loop. I just fell in love. Over the years I've tried so hard to find out where it was from, but always to no avail. Now, a few years ago I even posted the sample on this forum type website in the hope that someone might one day recognise it. Yeah, I got questions asking whether the demo group might have written the song themselves and well, to me, it was clearly a sample of something else. Anyway, I never got any good leads back and Shazam and those kind of services didn't produce any results either. But with today's more modern technology, we might have a way to finally trace it. So to do that, it would be helpful and fun to briefly explore exactly what the so-called demo scene was all about and who Savage even is, was, or were. Yeah, you see these demo houses, or sometimes groups, mostly centered in Europe, primarily adopted the Commodore Amiga because of its then incredible graphical capabilities. And because unlike a PC, the Amiga's hardware was essentially locked down, there was a clear benchmark and boundary in place that the coders could try to push the limits of. For the best results, they usually coded directly in the Motorola 68000's assembly language, bypassing the operating system and accessing the Amiga's Fat Agnes chips, incredible copper and blitter directly. And as the demo sceners in their intense rivalry crafted theoretically impossible graphical feats, sometimes properly undreamt of by the Amiga's own developers, and perhaps in turn selling more Amigas for them, so in turn, the Amiga brought fame to the sceners and to their demos, at times scoring them jobs as games coders. And so the industry was kind of ironically fueled by some of the very people whose copyright protection cracks would ultimately bring it down. But back then, when it all seemed like harmless fun, there were some incredible demos now considered seminal works in the field. I'm not sure what they were doing in a field, but well, there you go. Speaking of which. Hello. Babe. Mm -hmm. Why did the Scarecrow win an award? I don't know why because he was outstanding in his field. Just so corny. Oh, big stretch. And one of my other absolute favorites that I ordered through snail mail back then on three and a half inch floppy disks from a shareware company like this one. Yep, this is one of the rare original disks that I actually kept from my childhood. Well, on there was the North Star Fairlight Mega Demo 3 by well, demo groups, North Star and Fairlight. And whilst the graphical gymnastics impressed the heck out of me and my friends at the time, for me as a musician, it was sometimes a little more about the songs. Isn't this just the most fantastic thing you've ever heard, apart from my theme tune? Put some headphones on if you can, close your eyes and soak up the stereo sound beauty of the Amiga's Paula chip being pushed to her limits. <laughs>
exhausted now. <laughs> Sorry to have subjected you to that. I did tell you to close your eyes though. But I literally have two left feet even when I'm sitting down. Anyway, before we try to finally find the original song that Savage used, for me, one small but frustrating thing is I can't actually find the original Savage Amiga demo that I saved that WAV file from. So if you recognize where this sample's from, comment below, and I'll add a link to the Savage demo in the description below this video. Having said that, the plot thickens, because I asked on this Amiga forum, and a user called Hitchhiker said, how about this demo? Oh, wait, sorry, wrong one. Uh, how about this demo? Turns out this is a different demo using a different sample from the same song. Who knew this little heard of song from the 80s was being sampled by so many demo groups? And yet nobody seems to know what the actual song even is. Well now I'm even more determined than I was before. Before we hopefully find the song, I should point out PCBWay are absolutely terrible at producing synth riffs. However, if you need a PCB produce, I recommend PCBWay! Because as we all know, PCB stands for Perifractic Can't Find Baseline, doesn't it? As for who Savage were, well, by their nature, these groups were secretive, but they did release this little news tro, and it tells you here, as of 1994, who the members of the group were, and how you could reach them back then online. If you were involved in the group, I'd love you to reach out in the comments of this video. Just tell us a little bit about what it was really like. <laughs> So as I mentioned, today, with the power of the interwebs, I think we can finally figure out where this song came from, because now we have the all-new Shazam. Fingers crossed, we'll try it in just a few seconds. because now we have the all-new all Google Assistant. Oh, really, Google? Come on, I mean, if you don't recognize it, just tell me. You don't have to pretend there's a connection error when I'm literally one meter away from my Wi-Fi router. You mean 3.3 feet. Well, I only have two feet. You have two left feet. <laughs> I think she's allergic to dogs. And Alexa was no help either. Sorry, I don't know that one. Okay, find women's running shoes. Google butt out. I was not, I was asking Alexa. Uh, honestly, modern technology is literally the worst. Well, in fact, this whole video has been a complete bloody waste of You've time. You've got mail. Wait, I think I got an email from Tom Hanks. Hope he doesn't have a virus. Oh, it's from What's That Song? That's the site I asked about Savage's demo a few years ago. And look, someone thinks they recognize it. Georgia, Georgie Red, help the man. That doesn't really sound right, does it? Well, let's Google it on Yahoo. Yeah, that doesn't really doesn't look like it matches the song we're looking for. Okay, well here's a video of the song. What the heck, nothing to lose at this point. Wait a minute. That's it! Yeah. 
huge thank you to PR Music for helping this man find Help the Man. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is order the vinyl for myself so I can actually own it. And I can see here it was released in 1985 by Dum Dum Records. <laughs> hmm, no wonder I like it. I'm pretty fascinated now about the track and how it came together, how those super cool synth riffs were actually made. Would you believe the guy who did the music, shown here on the back cover, is still active? And I found him by bringing it on Google. Yep, George Kochbeck. He and lead vocalist Phil Edwards are Georgie Red. Hmm, okay, he's got a website. There he is, the man behind the music. Looks like he's a score writer, a singer-songwriter. Well, that is definitely of the 80s. And a keyboardist. In fact, he was voted Germany's best keyboardist. But with those synth riffs, I can see why. Ah, he's German, so that makes sense why these German groups were using this song. It was probably a bit of a hit over there. Now, I couldn't find any info on how high this song actually went in the charts, but I wasn't the only one who had appreciated the track. Well, uh, let's drop him a quick email and see if he might just come back to me. You've got mail. Meg? Oh, even better. It's Georgie Red. This is incredible. He sent me a photo of him actually working on this song, and he found the MP3 of the vocal version and sent it to me for free. As for how he made it, he says the intro riffs and the sequencer were an Elka Synthex. The bass line is a Yamaha DX7, classic. The drums are an MFB Frick. <laughs> Here's what that looks like. Actually, that's what he's using in the picture. You know what? Let's reach out to channel patron and fellow synth geek. John McDermott, who I recall has a Yamaha DX7, or at least the mini version, the Reface DX, to see if he can find the original sound used for that cool as cucumbers bass line. So there it is, 30 years on, I finally own a copy of the song that a European demo scene has sampled and that ended up on a shareware floppy disk snail mailed to my bedroom 30 years ago. I can't believe it, and I don't think George Kochback could either. By the way, he told me that the lyrics, which we'll hear in a second, were inspired by a friend of his who at the time needed some help to help the man. I wonder if he realized how much he helped this teenager and countless others probably enjoy their days a little more too. And as for today, he did point out that perhaps the lyrics that you'll hear are even more poignant for the current situation that man is facing. But just before we hear the vocal version of this song, one thing remains. I inferred that the Amiga had seemingly limitless graphical possibilities if you knew how to push it. And the thing about that is, as recently as 2018, stunning demos were still being created that broke new technological records for that 30-year-old machine. This video is really about the original Savage sample. Let's queue up my vinyl copy of Help the Man that arrived today and listen to it properly while enjoying the copper and glitter chips visual treats as old truly meets new. Tick 
the Amiga dances us out, all that remains is for me to say thanks for watching and for listening. Thanks also to George Kochbeck for helping this man put the video together. I hope in turn that watching it has helped you in some small way too. I'll be back soon, but for now, subscribe and join below. And cheerio. Thank you.